Hi, my name is Frank Howarth. I'm director of the Australian Museum. And in this short video, we want to take you for a behind the scenes look at our preparations for Alexander the Great 2000 Years of Treasures. This exhibition from the State Hermitage Museum in St. Petersburg has been nearly three years in the making. It contains more than 400 objects and covers a time span of 2,500 years. In this exhibition, we tell you the story of the people and the events that influenced Alexander himself. We tell you about Alexander's life and we tell you about the legacy of Alexander that went right up to the 19th century, even to now. Enjoy. When I first saw the Gonzaga cameo, uh, the double portrait of Ptolemy II, Philadelphus and Arsinoe II, it was on display in Amsterdam. I was truly gobsmacked by its size. I'd always imagined this very famous cameo to be the size of a normal cameo, about that size. However, it's about 10 times that size, so it's something like that. I think this is why you need to see the real thing and not just something from catalogues or on screen. Uh, you can really appreciate the detail and the beauty of the object. As the exhibition designer, the greatest challenge for me is to work out a layout for the show, the physically placing of the, of the showcases and walls and these kind of things, as a, to create a space that's engaging to a visitor and to allow the narrative of the show to slowly unfold as they progress through the gallery. To me, Alexander is particularly interesting because he occupies a place between mythology and history. He saw people such as Heracles and Achilles, who we consider um, to be mythological as real people, the people that he aspired to be like and to emulate. Alexander the Great was an amazing man. To some he was a genius and a liberator, to others he was a tyrant. He was a brilliant military strategist and in 11 years he'd built the largest empire in history but he was dead by the age 32. Come to the Australian Museum and see for yourself the story of this truly amazing man.